Hey, what's going on guys? So this is gonna be a little review on the Savage Gear Top Prey. The Top Prey is a top water um, walk the dog style vape. And uh, if you guys go to their website, it'll actually kick you over to a catalog when you click on hard lures. And this is, according to the bottom of this lure, it says it's a, a 100F, so it's a, a 100 size, because it's about four inches long. Um, but on their catalog, they actually show an 85. They show a Top Prey 85, which is obviously going to be a little bit shorter than this one. I haven't seen that one on Tackle Warehouse. Um, for me, the 100 size is probably about as short as I would go for a, uh, a spook style bait, just because I think that the shorter you get, the quicker you got to work them, and uh, the quicker you got to work them, the less the less glide that they have in the water, which is something that I that I look for. I kind of like the ones that are right around four and a half uh, to five. So it's, it's like the, I would say anything over 100 millimeters and to all the way up to like 130 millimeters is about where you want to be for a topwater spook style bait for bass fishing. I feel like those are the, uh, the most successful for me, at least. Uh, I'm sure some of you guys have had some success with the, with the shorter ones, but I just feel like you're gonna have to get into some lighter tackle, and it's just, it's it's a whole thing when you start getting into these little spook style baits that 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 run all over the place because they are so small that you have to work them really really fast. So, um, go and show you guys my measurement here. It's about four inches, like they said, uh, from the rear line or the rear hook hanger to the front line tie. It's about four and four and one eighth inches and then just the body of the bait it's about three and fifteen sixteenths uh it's listed as a four inch uh four inches in length has a weight of half an ounce and then obviously it's a top water floating style lure uh, the lure is rather slender in fact if you look at it up against like a sammy um the sammy seems to be almost twice as wide as the savage gear uh this sammy i think is the 115 so it's not a fair comparison, but it's a, a close enough comparison. So, and, and the lure, when it sits in the water, normally top water um, walk the dog style lures, they either sit flat or they sit up and down. This one, uh, they can sit somewhere in between, but for the most part, those are your two categories of, of top water walking lures. They either sit flat on top of the water on the surface or they sit like this and this lure sits almost completely straight up and down and what does that mean to you guys that means that you're going to have a little bit more effort to put into the lure you're going to have to give it like a little snap twitch to get it up on on plane because um when you pull it obviously it's going to want to come up out of the water and start to plane on top of the water like that but each time you stop the lure it's going to want to come back down like this uh, so in my experience on the water um again it being a shorter lure to boot I feel like this lure works best when you're twitching it along at a quick pace. Um, because of the fact that it is a short lure, so you're gonna be giving it quicker twitches anyway because it's gonna finish its cycle as you twitch it a lot quicker because it has a, a much smaller swinging arc this way because it's shorter, where as a longer bait, let's say if we put these two together, they would have a longer swinging arc, so it would take longer for it to, to uh, do a half revolution. And uh, because this thing is shorter, you're going to have to twitch it quicker. And because it does want to sit in the water column or on the surface of the water like this, in order to keep it on top of the surface of the water, you're going to want to twitch it quick, which is probably why I felt like it worked best when I was twitching it fast. Because each time I kind of slowed down and kind of just twitched it along like this, um, the, the effectiveness of that walking sachet kind of just went away. So... Uh, that's just some food for thought when you're buying the sewer. They talk about it being um, easy to sachet across the surface, whether you're a novice or seasoned pro. Um, I don't think it's. I, I definitely wouldn't point someone in, in the direction of this lure if they were uh, if they were new to walking baits. But definitely for somebody that uh, knows what they're doing, I would say that that's uh, that's definitely fair for somebody. But it's not hard by any stretch of the imagination. I just I, I would point somebody in the direction of of a completely flat surface lure for somebody that doesn't know how to walk lures that well because that way you, you can kind of just take your time and move the rod tip slowly at your own pace. 
Uh, I felt like this was kind of interesting. When you look at these two lures, the first thing that you notice is that the white one on top has a feather tre uh, treble hook on trailer hook on the end, and the bottom one doesn't. And if you go to the catalog I was telling you guys about, um, it actually shows that on their on their catalog that the white one and the black one, so white mouse and black mouse, are the only two that actually have a feather treble uh, trailer hook on the back, and um, and the other ones don't. So, and it's interesting because on Tackle Warehouse, I guess the longer one is called White Rat and Black Rat. So, <laughs> so whatever, I guess. Um, but anyway, the other thing that you're gonna notice about this lure is that you'll have two different colored treble hooks. You have a, a black nickel plated with black uh, nickel plated hardware split rings on it on the back. And then on the front, you'll notice that it's a a white, I don't want to say chrome because it's definitely not chrome plated, but it's kind of like an unfinished saltwater hook on the on the front with a chrome plated um, split ring on there. And the hardware is nice. I mean, the, the, the actually the overall fit and finish of the lure is pretty nice. I mean, they have some, some nice paint jobs. They don't have a very big selection. In fact, they only have four different colors. And uh, when Tackle Warehouse isn't sold out of some of them, uh, seems like the most popular color is the black rat and the white rat color. Uh, the two shad colors they seem to always have, but they're so similar. This one is a uh, blueback shad, and it's so similar to the bitten shad shiner. Uh, I think that buying one over the other really wouldn't make much of a difference. Uh, the eyes on it, whoop, the eyes on the lure are actually um, a three-dimensional holographic eye, but they have that uh, that same kind of um, detail that you'll find in some of like the mega bass or the not so much the jack all lure because that one has so much color in it but you get the idea that it's it's kind of that oblong teardrop uh sclera right there in the middle so uh just a, a lot of a, a little small attention that i appreciate when i'm looking at a hard bait uh, some things that i've grown to like over the years of buying hard baits uh, some of the things that i look for and this thing definitely has them i probably wouldn't change out this front hook because it does seem like they're going for some sort of a of a blending in on that on that front hook as opposed to the rear hook. So in order to kind of keep it with the theme of what they're going for, because obviously they're they're not opposed to putting nice hardware on their lures. Uh, I think that I would just keep this one on here just to kind of keep with whatever theme that they're trying to accomplish on the lure. Because if you look at the lure. They're both, they're actually both that way, even though this one's got a feather treble hook on the back one. And you can actually see it's got a little bit of the uh, mylar flash in it. So, and it's a hand tied one, so it's got the red thread on there. So, uh, like I said, these lures are actually very nice. I probably wouldn't, I won't point them in the direction of somebody that's a, that's a novice like they, like they claim you can do, but uh, for somebody that's, that's looking for something that, um, that you can work very fast and is, is not extremely long. The lure does cast very well. This seems to be a very good lure for those for those type of situations. Uh, how it performed on the water outside of just the, the moving it quickly, uh, it kind of wants to bob a lot because it, it does, like I said, want to sit like this. So as it's moving, it kind of, uh, each time you twitch it, it kind of like almost skids across the next way and then skids across back the next way as you're moving it across. Um, you're moving it so fast that there's a lot of things happening there uh, and you really have to get it in a, in a nice rhythmic um, uh, twitch, I guess, to, to, to get it to do that nice sachet gliding action across the top of the water. But once you get it going, it seems to work pretty well. So let's go ahead and go over the colors here. But before I talk about that, it does have a, it does have a, a very subtle rattle in it that I feel like it's not going to really do much for the fish just because of the uh, how subtle it is, but it does have a rattle in it. So uh, as far as the colors go, this is blue back shad. Like I already told you guys, you can see on the top, um, says Savage Finesse USA. It's got a scale pattern, uh, with a light blue paint. And then that kind of transitions into like an Aurora black. That's uh that's blue on, on this corner here, chartreuse line, shad dot, uh, some more holographic uh, foil here towards the belly and then just a silver there on the belly. And as we're down here, you can actually see that it says Top Prey 100F. So 
Here is Blueback Shad. This other color here is called White Rat. Uh, White Rat is a little bit different as far as the eye is concerned because it's just got an all blacked out eye and uh, it still says the Savage Finesse USA on, on the top of it, but uh, pretty much just a stark white bait that's got a little bit of uh, violet here. Uh, the violet, as you would expect on, on the video, is showing up a lot more on the video than it does in real life when you're holding it in person. So there is White Rat. So pretty cool little lure. Um, I really, uh, from the stuff that I've seen by Savage Gear, it seems like they, they are gonna be a little bit of a nicer, I don't wanna say premium lure because it's 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 not quite there yet, but I feel like at their price point at $9.99 for this lure, I feel like it's a bargain for, for the type of hardware and the type of attention to detail that you're getting for the lure. So uh, very nice and fun lure to fish. Uh, if, if you guys can, if you guys can use the lure effectively as far as getting it out there and twitching it really, really fast, I think you're going to like that, especially in the situations when you have uh, schooling bait fish. Um, I think that you're going to have a lot of fun fishing a lure like this. So if you guys like the video, please hit the like button down there in the lower left corner. I really appreciate that and stay tuned for the next review. Thanks a lot.